freaking oranges. I like oranges. Hello friends, it's Death the GMO back for another video and today I'm going to show you around one of my local food markets and I'm definitely suggesting everybody to get out there and support their local markets. There's lots of benefits to going to your local market. Um, of course you get local food hopefully and you get food that's in season, much fresher. A lot of times it's actually cheaper because the stand, this is like a stand it's not really a building, so they don't have to pay for air conditioning and other such things like that. By shopping at local markets, you're helping to keep your money within your community. It's going to go to the farmers and the farmers workers, the workers of this stand, and the owners of the stand, you know, the people who transport this food here. So that's all local people within your community. And I personally wouldn't go to a market that you weren't allowed to sell your own food to yourself. When you're looking at all these different products, you'll see that they have the name um, identified and some of them even have the farms identified. Actually, most of them do. Not every product you see here is non-GMO. It is kind of up to you to be able to identify really um, plants that don't have to be planted every year are almost certainly not GMO. And um, you just have to know by looking at the labels and other stuff talk to the people but if you just want to get everything that you have non-gmo verified that's going to be very difficult to do and costly for products that are just non-gmo naturally so if you know products that are always non-gmo then you can buy those from your local food markets and save a lot of money as opposed to going to all organic stores who are going to have to charge you basically just for them to make sure everything's non-GMO. So according to the labeling, you can find out whether something is conventional. If it has four numbers on the label of the fruit, if it has five numbers with a nine, then it's considered organic. And if it has five numbers without the nine in the first position, then it is considered GMO. But um, it seems to me like when they do have GMO products, they just don't put a label on it at all or something else like they're not gonna just tell you that it's GMO and I wouldn't necessarily trust the USD labeling anyway but it's just one part of the puzzle to figuring out whether any of the stuff you're eating is GMO there's a lot of variety at these farmers markets and I personally think that that is the best way to have a healthy diet is to just eat a lot of different types of things with a lot of different colors and if you're gonna eat the seafood try to get some from the Atlantic coast with all that's going on at Fukushima they've got lots of different types of preserves there and there's some greens you can make stuff for your shakes I hope all those green beans are non-GMO but I didn't get any but I'm pretty sure they would be have to ask next time but I usually get my green beans from somewhere else but yeah y'all get out to your local markets I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe this is Death the GMO. I'll see you guys soon. Check out the website, deaththegmo.com. Take care.